time for Live Now with Dr. Carmen Hara. The show offers profound wisdom, practical advice, daily exercises, and empowering predictions. And now, here's Dr. Carmen Hara. Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode of Live Now, a show that offers you the guidance you need to transform your life. I'm Dr. Carmen Hara, live on KMET. Uh, radio 1.90 m affiliated to abc radio and uh, like uh, every friday i'm so excited to talk to you and always uh, try to bring you a new idea and today i have an amazing guest for you so uh, we're going to talk about the power of numbers in order to attract uh, abundance in your life and joy and stability because as you know we are all born with a unique set of numbers that determine many things into our life we used to say those numbers determine your future. And um, like we have that divine DNA, uh, a record telling us about our skills, our abilities, uh, our predispositions um, to many things in life, but we also have the numbers. And it's significant to know your divine codification. Uh, that's why I decided to invite somebody who can demystify the power of your numbers and show you how numbers are actually the language of the universe. But it's interesting that my guest that uses a different type of, of uh, concept and a different method than the one we all know about. We more know about um, uh, traditional numerology discovered by Pythagoras, but we don't actually know enough about the um, um, Western system, the, the, um, the system that is older than the Western system, than the Pythagorean system, that is actually the Vedic or uh, Chaldean numerology. And my guest is somebody who can actually tap into that. That's why I wanted to call in and talk to him. His name is uh, Jesse, and he is uh, the author of many books. He wrote books uh, called The Power of Home Numbers because he specializes in finding uh, your home number. He works with a lot of entrepreneurs and people in different businesses to guide them. Uh, when is good to invest and how to do it and so on and so forth. He's also the author of a, about a new book called All About the Numbers. And um, I'm going to talk to Jesse Kelsey about um, uh, uh, how he th what he thinks about uh, this system of numerology, which, as I said, is a very old one. And uh, 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 I'm inviting him first to the microphone. Thank you, Jesse, for accepting my invitation. I'm so grateful to you for writing those amazing books, especially I want to talk to you a lot about your last book, uh, all about the numbers. And um, I will ask you first, before anything, what is the difference between the, uh, you know, the traditional, the Pythagorean, the Western concept of numerology and the oldest one, the Vedic one? Oh, thank you, Carmen. Thank you for having me. <clears throat> to answer your question, um, see, uh, numerology that is widely practiced in this world today is about you know looking at numbers directly. You know, we look at numbers right. and we we mm -hmm. just add them up and you know come to conclusions. You know, of who will reach them. But in this uh, in this method, which is called the Vedic tradition of numerology that I practice using the, using the Chaldean code, has a, a planetary association with each basic number. So let's say, for example, the energy of number one is associated with the mighty sun, or number five is Mercury, or number nine is Mars, or six is Venus. Okay. Yeah, so it's so like me. So that's how it goes. So when we look at numbers and all, um, we, we don't say, oh, well, uh, one and eight is nine, right? It is nine, but then it is a very complicated nine because sun and Saturn, which is one, is sun and eight is Saturn, are, you know, are, are very challenging energies, you know? And that's right. something. You would not want to have in your in your space, right? So it's like that, very complicated. Oh, I'll give you another example, right? So if you consult with me and I tell you, hey, Carmen, you know, number six is good for you. So oh, great, number six is good. So you go looking for a house and you find a house number, say, 4848. Eight, you know, I say four plus eight plus four is 24. Well, that's the number six Jesse told me. But, but no, that never worked because the four and the eights, you know, always attract, but they kind of funnel downwards, right? So that is the thought behind it. Okay, so there is... Um... But the concept in itself, I mean, the numbers per se, like one, two, three, do they associate with planets or not necessarily in, in the Vedic? Uh, oh, they absolutely do. That's they exactly. Do. 
Yes, they all do. They all do. Like you, know, like you say, number eight is so popular. I mean, people love the number eight. Say, oh, write a number eight and place it in your wallet or, or number eight outside. Or, okay. No, it is very complicated. You know why? Because it is the energy of planet Saturn. And Saturn is cold. It's very deliberate. It moves very slowly. And mm-hmm. so if it is not your best number, like for me, right? I mean, I'm born on April the 3rd. My energy is more Mars and Jupiter 3 and 9. And so I have, you know, harmonized my life around those numbers only. I never get a number eight around me because I know it will instantly block me, right? I understand. I understand. So so by associating those numbers with planets, we interpret the the significance of the planet, the challenge that the planet brings into your life yes. and what the planet represents in itself. So you have a total different interpretation because the planet, uh, eight is associated with the, the planet of karma, with Saturn. Yes. Uh, and I agree, when it comes to karmic things in our life, then life become really an entire story and gets more and more complicated as the life goes by. But um, in the, uh, the Pythagorean concept, eight also is associated with longevity, is associated with money. But in the Vedic, uh, um, uh, you know, interpretation is more interpreting the challenge in itself that a planet can can bring into your life. Am I correct? Yes, you're absolutely correct. Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay, everybody. So we, we have an amazing guest, as you can see, you know, and uh, I want you to call in and talk to Jesse. You don't have that chance uh, so frequently. It's, it's very hard to get him. Very busy man. Uh, working on another book and many projects and so many people contacting him to guide them and and get his help. So you have a chance to talk to Jesse now on the radio. The number to call in is 951-922-3532. area code 922-3532. So guys, feel free to call in and you will have the opportunity to have a question to Jesse and ask him, where are you in your life? What's your divine code? What should be the, the, the your home number? What what should be your bank account if you can choose one? And so on and so forth. The main thing that Jesse can help you reveal to the power of numbers. But I think we already have a caller. I think her name is Rosemary. Am I correct? Hi, Rosemary. Yes, you are. Hi, Carmen. And hi, Jesse. Nice to hi, hear from dear both Rosemary. Of you today. So excited to have you on the show. And thank you so yes. much for calling us. We are here oh. to answer your questions. Most likely, Jesse, if you have specific questions about uh, a, a, an event, a situation, something that relates to the numbers in your life, feel free to ask. Sure. Okay, so my birthday is October 4th, 1966. Okay. All right. And uh, what is the number outside your house? 21. Okay, 20 months, okay. So October 4, uh, 1966, and uh, number 21. So sun, so your basic numerology is where, you know, it resonates around the number one and the number seven. So one and seven are your best numbers, which also means that, you see, your home should be faced, should, for you, the best vibration would be that your home should be facing the rising sun because the number one rules you, right? And then... Um, Nine, and the T21 is a good number. You know, if 21 comes into my code, like a house number 21 or 201, it's it's an excellent number for money, right? For people who have more uh, Jupiter and Venus energy. But in your case, 21 would you know would, would not give its best effect, you know? So what I would suggest is if you could, um, you know, if you could shift the energy of 21 more to flow with you by adding... Um, Something like your own, a number, a number four there. I mean, maybe make it two one four. Four because one, two, four, seven is same family. And on on this on this number, house number, apartment will vibrate very well. See, sun, uh, sun, which is ruby, is is would be very, very good for you. And then for looking at your timing now, 1966 now would be uh four and thirty, and then twenty-one last year would make it uh so, and then so, which means you're in your moon cycle, which is a good time. And you'll feel that vibration more now after the 23rd of this month. You know, you'll feel energy shifting, picking up, right? 
and it'll 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 move yeah. and get much better. You also are because of the Neptune energy in you. You know, you're very intuitive, very psychic too. Water element around your space is also very important. It'll it'll also help you. Venus rules you, which means um, you know Venus is uh, the energy of diamonds and things like that. Would also you know be of uh, great help to you. So anything Super. specific, so Rosemary, that you want to ask? But because you had, the, yeah. according to, so I'm looking from my my knowledge of numerology, the beginning of a life cycle, and actually Jess is mentioning that you have a good time in your life right now, especially from now on to right around your birthday, you should take advantage of every opportunity because whatever you plan at the beginning of a life cycle will will unfold in your direction. So in other words, the old universe supports everything you're doing right now. So you're in a good position. Uh, and when, when Jesse said shift something, put like a symbolic number attached to the number of your house if you want to see money flowing better or the energy, uh, you know, uh, improving in, in whatever decision you have to, to, to do something in your life right now. But do you have anything specific you want to ask? Yes. Yeah, so this year I'm 55 and I'm considering... Um, transferring school, still the same job, but just a different school um, mm -hmm. until I write out my retirement. I'm debating if I should stay put or or make the change. No, no, stay put. Don't make a change until your birthday. Don't okay, make a change. So, okay. so the time to, is to stay put, but there's another thing, and, and Jess is actually very right to stay put. But the, th the thing with you is if you stay put over your birthday, you might stay put longer. If you say, well, okay, well, by my birthday, I want to quit or retire or do something else with my life, that would be the perfect timing. But if you stay longer, let's say you're still in this job for another year, you might even stay longer than a year. You understand? So it actually, the universe is like projecting some, some circumstances that will force you to stay longer in this job. So it's up to you. But the time to move job, to change, to do a major change is right now in the next seven, eight months. I absolutely agree, Carmen. When, when her birthday comes, she'll be entering her Jupiter cycle, you know, and Jupiter, which kind of starts contradicting her energy a little bit. So around her birthday, maybe a week or so, or two weeks before her birthday, she's suddenly going you know, to be very fancy to make a change. And I think that's the time it might happen. So right. do you understand yeah, the message? <laughs> I do. I understand. Yeah. It's yep. a very clear message, very straightforward, very to the point. So uh, this is the time. This is the time to decide one way or another that the time this that you are uh, experiencing now is actually working in your favor. So the decision to stay uh, means staying way longer. The decision to uh, uh, to leave or create a new job or a new opportunity will also be positive if it's done any time in the next number of months. So um, you can go wrong either way. Right. My opinion right. is that you right. might this probably is... try to do something else. Probably this uh, chapter in the book of your life is coming to closure and you're about mm -hmm. to open the door to something else. Right. The process is we have to put in the paperwork in, in April if we want to transfer, but we actually don't start the new job until September or October. If, if, yeah, we, if there's an open that sense. That's your birthday, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's my birthday. So that, okay. that actually makes Great. perfect sense. So it's exactly what Jesse okay. said, and I'm complimenting him here with, with the, the other type of information. So we actually putting together those two systems that, you know, it's interesting, either it's a Vedic numerology or Pythagorean, whatever concept we use, it, at the end, this, this elements, they coincide. They will send you mm -hmm. a similar. Yeah, because it's a difficult decision because I'm happy now, but I feel like mm -hmm. I'm ready for something different. So but don't, you th don't you think that uh, you come into a closer chapter, like you come into a point in which you say, I did this, I did it well for a period of time, but now it's time to move forward in a different direction. Don't you feel like this? A little. Yes, I do. Yeah. I, I think yeah, it's the time because by in the next two, three months, you, you're going to have this feeling more intense. 
more powerful, more much well yeah. developing you, the need becomes stronger. Right. Any right. other questions that you might have oh. for Jesse? Um, I guess, like, he talks about talents, I guess, and what our talents are according to our birth date. And I don't have any glaring talents, but, I mean, I am very connected with family. Uh, I try mm -hmm. and keep in touch and try and keep everyone together. But it mm -hmm. has a specific, like, I, I know, defined talent. I, I mean, right. I guess that's what it comes down to definition. So not everybody is a musician or an artist. So I, right. I guess I'm wondering, is there, do I have anything more specific than what I think? What do you think? For my person. I, I feel that you should watch your breathing in your respiratory system, you know. You know, your uh, breathing apparatus. That is very important. Also, you know, if you ever get into any legal challenges, you know, settle it right away. Don't drag it, you know. That is another thing that is mm -hmm. very strong, this number, yeah. Have you ever experienced anything with your breathing? Was this ever an issue for you? No, no, not with my breathing. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, it's also very symbolic because, you know, it, we um, breathing is the first invisible element, the air that we need. You know, we made a water, right. earth, fire, air, you know, so we made a, the four level of creation and air is one, one of the level of creation, but the invisible one. And it's all about how mm -hmm. we breathe. When we enter the world, we take a breath. You know, the first time of breathing, you know, is when you enter the world by breathing. So... I think in a symbolic way, Jess is, is telling you, okay, watch your, your breathing, you know, take, 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 pay attention to that. And I think the more you're going to breathe, the, the more you will tap into a meditative state that will discover your inner power. You know what I think is amazing when it comes to talents about you? You're a humanitarian. You love to help the world. You love to make peace. I don't know if you agree with me, but that's the way I see you. I do. You said once the world to be a better place and will participate unconditionally to transform things. So this is who you, this is, this is your real mission. You know, some people have a mission to play a piano, you know, to make the world more musical Correct. and more harmonious, but you through your own action help more or less uh, directly a lot of people. And you know what? I have a feeling that you have a book in you. I don't know if Jesse agrees with me, you know, we all have a book within ourselves. It's the, the story of our life or the way we perceive things. But I will not be mm -hmm. surprised if one day in the future you will decide to put something in writing. Even if you can tell me I'm not the best writer, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be the best writer. If you have a concept, an idea, the book will come to life. You will find a way. Mm -hmm. You will find a way to express mm -hmm. yourself. So about your mission at the end, probably you haven't you're not yet there, you know, but something tells me that talking about a talent or a gift that involves your, the level of your evolution and your desire to help that can translate into a book. Yes, I totally agree with that. I, I do agree, agree with that. Okay. Advice. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be sitting on an equity, diversity and inclusion committee shortly. Um, mm -hmm. Right. So I believe that that might morph into something that seems to be uh, the pathway. Right. I'm like your words have power to I'm other heading. people. People resonate to what you do. You are you have you have followers. If you say, "Well, let's do it this way," people around you will listen and will follow you, mm -hmm. which is an mm -hmm. extraordinary gift, an ability, you know, to convey mm -hmm. a great message to others and other people to listen to you. And I don't know if Jessica agrees with me. Yeah. I I, yeah, I agree with you, Kevin, absolutely. There's one more thing I was picking up is the color. You know, don't uh, don't use more red or black colors in your car or your, you know, avoid mm -hmm. those, minimize those colors, you know. And what so, do you think about colors, my love? Is there anything, did, any particular color that you like? Did you say avoid red and black? Yeah, yeah. Avoid, I, did you? Uh, oh, okay. Well, um, I, I tend to like um, orange and purple. But my car is red and black. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so that's interesting. That's so interesting. I mean, the, 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 the well, interior is black. Have this car? Well, how long? <laughs> I've had it for four years. Four years. Probably it's about time um, to think about a car with a different color. So go and, and, and change yeah. the color of this one if you like it. 
Yeah, I think you should. Gain right, the color right. of color. That's the one that scares <laughs> me. Not, you never expected a message like this today. That, hey, I'm, I'm no. calling Carmen on the no. show with Jeff here. They are telling me, okay, go ahead and change the color of your car. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Yeah, I like pink, yes. pinks and purples and oranges. I like br and blues. I like and all what colors, about blue? Jess? Mostly those yeah, four. Nice yeah, blues, really good. Pink shoes are yeah. Colors. Good, yeah. Is blue good for her? Yeah, darker blue. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, better than black. And do you think, Jesse, that she is she uh, her soul is very drawn to the water? Do you feel this way, Rosemary? I do. Yeah, yes, I do. She has a yeah. Very intuitive. She's very psychic by herself. Yeah. Very but intuitive. also drawn to the water. Do you feel yes, that? Yes, absolutely. Hey, Rosemary, do you feel like yes, you I, like the water we, or you feel very good near water, near the ocean, near a lake? Do you feel this way? Oh, yes. Always. So when we're on vacation, us, yeah. we always go. We're drawn to the water. Whether we're biking, we bike towards the water. We drive our RV exactly. towards the water. We're always yeah. um, following the, co the coast, the coastline. Yeah. So. I, I That's think, you know, I, I, can I make you a prediction? I think that in the future, I see you having somewhere property by the water, like a vacation home or something closer to an ocean or I just something tells me that's going to happen. And it's going to be those years in which you're going to celebrate, you know, everything you've done in life, but meditating near the water. That's how I see you uh, in the future. Like opening right. your heart and that's your intuitive exactly. mind, but the water being the element that supports supports um, everything you're trying to do. Give you the inspiration. Yes. Being more inspired yes. if you by the ocean and look in the water, you know, that ocean of love and ocean of water that gives you the, you know what I mean? That, that magical power that exists already within you. For sure. And we do like enjoy cruises. Always again on the water. But it yeah, was, yeah, of course. Yeah. That's why you enjoy cruise. That's why you feel so connected. And then when your intuitive mind yeah. opens up. Right. Right. Any other message, Jesse, that you have for Rosemary? Anything? Yeah, I think you said it all. The number seven uh, on her code, which is Neptune, is water. So, and you described it really well. I mean, everything that water has for her is all there. So you said mm -hmm, it all. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and, and pay attention the month of Mar May, March, uh, between March to May, because you have some kind of a role in a making a major decision. So you probably are guessing what I'm trying to tell, but if you don't think about that a little bit, because it's quite quite an interesting um, situation that's occurring that is putting you in a position of power and decision. You might decide something for other people, you know? So exactly. I know you take that's responsibility in that, yeah. but that's a... That's an important, that's an important decision. Very much. Very much. Yeah. Okay, my Rosemary, okay. I well, love you. you. And don't thank forget you so to buy much. Jesse's book. Jesse has a new book called the, the All About Numbers. All About Numbers is Jesse's book. You can find it. Where can people find your book, Jesse? Well, they can uh, find it on Amazon or they can go to my website, uh, jessicalcy.com, and they can get it from mm -hmm. there. Yes, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Guys, an Thank you, Jesse. Numerology. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you, Rosemary, for being part of our show. We love you. Thank sure you for thing. calling. Again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love you, Carmen. Okay. Okay. Bye -bye. So we're going to take a, a short break, and then we'll be back with uh, Jesse Kelsey and his uh, uh, amazing new book. And you guys have an opportunity to talk to Jesse about what's going on into your life. And feel free to call in 951-922-3532. We'll be back in a second. Everybody, welcome to me now with me, Dr. Carmen Hara, live here on KMMT 1.90 AM ABC Radio. And uh, my uh, guest is the wonderful Jesse Kalsi, who is the author of many books on numerology. He's a master astro numerologist using a different system than the one that you are all used to, using the Vedic numerology. And as you can see how great he is and get his new book all about numbers that you can find it everywhere. Buy it on Amazon. Everybody buys at Amazon. Jesse lives in California with his wife, his daughter, Amrita and son, Eshan. I hope I, I'm pronouncing it correctly, am I? You are. Absolutely. His beautiful family. His beautiful, beautiful family. His amazing work. Because I want to tell you guys, Jesse has successfully helped 
numbers of, of, of uh, CEOs of companies, prominent business owners, you know, in getting, you know what I mean, the energy that they need to be successful in their businesses. But I do have a new caller that I'm grateful for, Adriana. Hi, Adriana. Thank you for, for calling us. Hello. How are you guys? So we're excited to speak with you. So you can, you have the opportunity to ask Jesse, Kelsey, whatever questions you might have. And give him okay. his, your birthday so he can find out and demystify what's going on in your birthday. Uh, my birthday is June 28, 1980. All right. June 1980. And is there a specific question that you have for Jesse? Um, yes. How should I attract more flow? Uh, you know, to my business, what I supposed to change or what I supposed to, to do. Okay, so we got yeah. uh, so hi, Adriana. So June the twenty eighth, nineteen eighty, and you said, uh, and, and what is the number outside your house, Adriana? What's the number? Eighty five. Oh, your number. Oh, so the door has a number five. Okay, so the June, July. So June goes no, into July. Is, uh, cancer energy. So the element of water five is very unstable with you. So what is happening is, um, see June the twenty eighth, nineteen eighty. So you know you, you know you you think with your you know you think with your uh, uh, head right in a relationship. You know like women you know use their heart right, but you use your head a little more right. So you're not very you know not very emotional that way. Otherwise, it's a very strong number. Moon and Neptune again, the two and the seven. Uh, are your basic numerologies, and number one will work with that as well. The number five. How long have you been in this number five? Uh, thirteen years now. Fourteen. No, no. This, this, uh, it's, it's very unstable. It's like, it's like you know, it's like you know, it's, it's a little shaky energy. I will patch it for you quickly. So let me look at your basic here. So 1982 now would be, uh, and then we got uh, last year was 21. So we go in the 42nd. So which means that after your birthday, right, June, July, after your birthday this year, which means three months before your birthday, which means uh, March. So I'll say more as as you get into March, which is around the corner, right? So now, mm -hmm. after, say at more the end of February, early March, you start seeing a shift in your vibration, right? Right. A shifting and, you know, it will start climbing up. So uh, many positive things. But, but I very strongly feel that your house number, number five, needs to be passed. And for that, what we could do is we could use the number two, which is moon. That is your base, one of your numbers on your basic code. So if you use the number two before the five, so you make it two and five, a small sticker to shift that. Like, like create a sticker and put it in front because you can't change the number of your house. Uh, you know, so it would be like eight to five. No, what is your number now? It's just five, right? No, eight five, eighty five. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Eighty. Okay, so let me see here. So no, no. So eight five. So so what is happening is eight and five. So both these numbers are not working for you then. So uh, so eight and five to shift that. Uh, eight and five to shift that. We would have to use something else, and we would have to maybe get. Uh, you might have to get uh, seven, which is your number. Uh, and we have to get uh, a two, which is your number. And then we might have to get a number one. We have to get a number one or a number two, maybe a number two, so two twice. So we have to get more of your basic energy, the 722 in some form. So what you could do is if you could write the number 722 right above the 85 in small letter, right? That would okay. shift the energy. Cat's eye. See, a cat's eye as a crystal would be very good for you. You can wear a cat's eye as a bracelet. You can wear a cat's eye in a ring or around as a pendant. That will be very good for you. It will it'll protect you. Even a white pearl, a white pearl in, in some silver uh, in, in your pinky finger or white pearl around your neck will also be very helpful for you. So both these crystals, white pearl and cat's eye, you have to wear to, you know, to attract that money of abundance and luck. And I think it will just come straight to you. Um, mm -hmm. In relationships, you be a little careful, you know, because this, uh, this this number sometimes challenges relationships. Because what happens is, you know, in a relationship, you know, you're more you always use your head more than your heart, right? And sometimes yeah. partners get challenged by that, you know, you know, a thinking <laughs> woman, right? Who kind of you know uh, be very cautious and thinks everything out and not just gets very emotional with things, which is strong. But then I definitely say that the relationship part. If you're a little cautious, but if you patch this place with more seven two two a little 
numbers above your existing age five, that would definitely help. But then, like I also said, as we get into March, say, but almost late February, but the 27th, 28th of February onwards, and as it moves up, it's going to get uh -huh. much, much better. Okay. So, so uh, I'm just summarizing. So, uh, create a sticker with 722 and put it above the number that you have to shift the energy of your home. Because okay. uh, not that there's anything wrong with the house. There's something with the vibration of the how the number that the house has. So yes. by changing the energy of, of your home numerologically, you create a different frequency. So you're going to see how your business starts to flow because you've been trying this business and felt like it's not working for a while. And you put all your enthusiasm, money, effort into it, but you don't see the results. Because the vibration is stuck somewhere. And it might have also a lot to do with being not in the right time. But Jesse is saying your time is changing right around the corner in the next weeks. Because you actually enter a different vibration. Anytime around your birthday, you move to a different frequency. And what's amazing about you, you move to an energy of, 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 of power, of money. Uh, versus in the last the two, two, three years. So now this energy is changing for you. You change the vibration of the place, of the home, adding the seven to two. Pay attention what's coming, you know, and, and, you're, and by the way, Jesse said that you need to wear a pearl. And because you call the show, I'm going to send you a bracelet made of pearls. Will that help, Jesse? Well, absolutely. Yes, Carmen. So yes. I'll send you as a gift for being my... Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, caller, I'll send you a bracelet made of pearls, actually very pretty one, and just send Thank me your you address so uh, in a text or send it to me on email and I will gladly send you right away uh, that bracelet because he sees that you know, your frequency is associated with certain stones, certain uh, uh, elements of the nature, certain colors and what is the color for her, Jesse? What's her favorite? What's the color? that represents uh it's more the lighter colors you know she should wear darks like reds and blacks more yeah uh, you know the uh, light colors like you said you know pearls light color off white white oh. for, yeah those colors you know kind calm cream colors you know lighter colors lighter i colors. like gray and yeah, light I blue wear, wear a lighter a blouse white off white so try to wear stuff like that and I'll send you that bracelet and probably even a ring with a pearl because those things, you know, associate with and empower your uh, vibration energy, making it better and stronger in attracting what you actually need. And she's also being a seven, the, uh, Neptune, the, 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 the planet of metaphysics and the connection also that you have with the water, you know, the, and you're very intuitive yourself. But, but you are very down to earth in the same time. You're very drawn to this reality. You know, you act, uh, 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 with, you act with your mind, not with your emotion, which is a very positive thing. And that will bring you success in the years ahead. Because when you're overly emotional, you can many times miss the opportunity or simply not get it right. But you will get it right. And you have the right business, by the way. And, and your attraction towards spirituality is incredible because of your codification. Thank you so any, much. Um, any other question? I have one more question. So um, sure. I want to take an exam for a certification, a human resources certification. Um, so I want to take it like in June, July. Would be that, that the right time or should I postpone it for longer? No, no, no. Take it June, July. It's, good. Yeah. it's a good time. Any time that goes and comes closer to your birthday, you 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 get it into the right timing. So the example is uh, Jesse already said that anything after March, it's it's fabulous. It, you're gonna see a shift in the way things start to unfold for you and a, a positive shift. Okay, thank you so much to both of okay, you. Mara, I really so love don't, the show. don't forget to send the, and get Jesse. Number uh, book that is called All About Numbers is a great book. And you learn about, you know, because you're a businesswoman, this book is a lot for people who are in businesses or want to create stability, money, and abundance in their life. So this, this book is particularly helping you 
know when and when how to start a business and what will help you make the business successful uh, according to numbers. So I, I uh, thank you for calling me. Don't forget to send me your address. Well, do. Thank you so much, both of you. Okay, I love you, my dear. And uh, Jesse, by the way, what's what's what number is good? What color is good for me? Or what a stone? Do you have an idea? <laughs> I remember Carmen. We talked last time. Pearls. I said excellent for you. White pearls. White pearls. Okay. okay. Uh, pearls. Excellent. Uh, yeah. I I've love seen, white pearls. I've seen. But I forgot. I forgot you told me this. I have to admit, I forgot. So, uh, thank you, Jesse. You are so wonderful. And we're gonna have. We have a new caller. Is her name Julia? Yeah, it's here. It's Julia. Hello. Hi, Julia, my love. So you're here with the. Uh, with uh, Master uh, Astro Numerologist, Mr. Jesse Kelsey, the author of a new book called uh, All About Numbers. So feel free to ask him, give him your birthday and ask him questions. Yeah, thank you so much. Hi, Jesse, and I'm so happy to talk with, with you tonight. Thank you. Um, my date of birth is 13 July 1990. Mm -hmm. Um, and the number of my house is, uh, X is, uh, 76. Okay. And the question is, um, I'm looking forward to make a trip in Brazil, which is not happening. I'm still waiting. And I want to ask you, do you see it near the corner happening this year? Yeah. Let me see here. So 13 July, 1990. And then you said, uh, number on the door is 76, right? Yeah. Right. So, so, so basic energy, July 13th, so it's got sun and moon, so number ones, twos, and I say ones, twos, and sevens will also work very well with you. 1992 now would be 10 plus, uh, uh, July is coming up, so 21, so in your 22nd, so in your 22nd, yes, sir. so now before, yeah, before July, you should definitely make that trip, it's going to happen. Before July. Yeah, yes. Before July. Uh, so when do you want to make the trip? Can you make it in May or even June? Uh, it's not like that because someone should invite me there. I applied for a contest. I have a video on YouTube. And, you know, I expect that I will be the winner. This is why. Um, it's not a trip that I buy, for, I buy myself. It's something that someone will invite me to go there. So in other words. They have to suggest a specific date. Yes. That to your yes, knowledge, yes. to your knowledge, when does this happen? What time of the year is this event supposed to happen? Do you have an idea? Yeah, yeah. you know, Carmen, it was supposed to happen two years ago in in January, but because of the pandemic, they did not give they us delay. any update. Okay, I understand. Well, hopefully, this is all going to unfold during the spring, and you will be able to make it prior to your birthday will be ideal. Yes. But, uh, Jesse, what do you think about uh, 76 as the number of a home? So 76 as a number of a home is not the best number because what happens is in a number like this, right? Something, you know, some she, she needs to watch her health a little bit because some heavy energy might come from the back door, you know, it's like that. And, yeah, uh, okay. Why, so, how yeah. Can she, what can she add to this? Yeah, so... To shift this, I say she should just use her own basic energy, which is numbers uh, one and number two. So I what I do is I would use uh, number one, two, uh, one and two in the beginning, you know. So make it. Um, so create a sticker of one and two, and put mm -hmm. it on before before the seventy six on a piece of paper. Create a nice sticker, yeah. You know, and I understand. add it in such a way that it has nothing to do with the with anybody being confused, but. Make sure that the vibration energy is attached to your home, then shifts the frequency uh, that it Correct. is. Because we all vibrational energy, we all have everything in nature, everything around us is a vibration. Every living Thank creature, so everything that exists, every molecule, every mm -hmm. cell has a specific frequency. And what he's trying mm -hmm. to say is let's shift that energy that is not ideal uh, for you into the ideal one by adding the vibration that matches yours so we raise mm -hmm. the vibration we make it better yeah and uh, one more thing coming rubies are good for her and white pearl too so ruby and white pearl you know both would work for her very well ruby is typically worn in gold setting and uh, white pearls work best in your pinky finger or around your neck or a bracelet but both of those gemstones will 
Well, yep. I send you a bracelet too, my Julia, as a gift for being my, my guest today. So just send me your mm -hmm. address. So you will receive a bracelet made of pearls that, as Jesse said, you should wear it because your energy is associated. We always associate it with color. We live in a very colorful universe, you know, with a lot of yeah. stones and a lot of, uh, uh, you know, very, very beautiful, alive universe. So we all relate to stones and you relate to, to, to pearls like the previous scholars. So for that reason, I will send you a, a, a bracelet made of pearls. Thank That's you so key. much. God bless you both. Thank you. All right, my beautiful Julia. Thank you for calling us and um, uh, make sure that that trip happens will be very beneficial for you, my love. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, okay my Bye -bye. love. So for everybody listening, don't forget about Jesse's book, All About Numbers. And um, uh, you can book a session with Jesse. So how do people book uh, a session with you, Jesse? Uh, typically, uh, Carmen, they go to my website, which is uh, jessicalzi.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and from there, they book the session. And they can book a session. So if you need to speak with Jesse directly, uh, Jesse appeared on many shows, television, uh, uh, everywhere in America. He has uh, his unique perception of numerology, but he, he always was able to capture a lot, very large audience. So... Um, that for that reason, you are inviting him on my show, and I'm very excited to have him with me. So you guys took the take the opportunity to connect with Jesse by calling in the station, and my producer will make sure that you're able to speak with us, and especially with Jesse, 951-922-3532. Uh, we have, what's the name again? I, I couldn't hear. Maria. Hi, Maria. Maria, can you hear us? Hello. Hi, my dear Maria. How are you, my dear? <laughs> I'm not Maria. I'm Erica. Oh, Erica. So I, it's yes. my mistake because for some reason I was not able to hear my producer whispering your name. So I'm, <laughs> I, I am apologetic. And um, Erica, we love you. And give us I'm your a birthday. Give follower. Jesse your birthday, mm -hmm. and we will. Um, uh, uh, be able to give you a lot of answers and feel free to have your questions ready too. Okay. Hello, Jesse. Um, okay. My name is Erica. My day of birth is July 23rd, 1982. My house number is 4315. So, uh, Mike. Okay. Mm -hmm. July 23rd, 1982. House number 4315. My question is, I recently got separated from my husband, and we've been together um, 15 years, and we have a year-old son. My question is, if there's any possibility so we can go back together, or I should just not yeah. hope? So, Erica, uh, one more time. So, the number of the house is 464315. Four three one five. Got it. Four three one five. Okay. So four three one five. So let's look at your numbers. Basically, let me look at your husband's as well. So, and so July the twenty third, nineteen eighty two. So July the twenty third, nineteen eighty two. So that is kind of strong numerology. You go. You got Mercury, which is number five, and you also have number seven, which is your intuition, Neptune. So that's pretty strong. And uh, so five and seven, twenty three, nineteen eighty two. So 1982 now would be uh, would be eight, nineteen, and ten, and then last year was 21. So that makes it uh, 21 and then 31 and it is 39. So you're in your 40th. So what happens is 41st. So on your birthday you enter your 41st, which is absolutely fantastic, right? Mm -hmm. So it is it will just spike right up. You know, so the graph shoots right up, and. Uh, so it'll be very, very beneficial for you as we move forward. Uh, Mercury is uh, Mercury is um, is number five, and that is uh, the energy of emerald, the green stone emerald. Emerald is a mm -hmm. neutral stone, but be very good for you for money, mm -hmm. for balancing your energy, and for um, you know greater luck as you move forward. Four, three, one, five, and your residence. You got Uranus, Jupiter, Sun, and Mercury. You got some Mercury there. 
And uh, mm -hmm. this number was not the best number for you. 4315 mm -hmm. number. How long have you been here? 4315. Uh, actually, 10 years. Just got 10 yeah. years living here. Mm -hmm. no, no, this number is not the best number, you know. Places like this sometimes, you know, also invite sickness, you know. But uh, but your I mean, your intuition is really good, you know. You're, you're, uh, just listen to your, your first call, you know. Don't second guess yourself. You, you always kind of pick it correctly and then maybe sometimes you're your mind comes in and tries to, you know, confuse you. But, uh, you know, just mm -hmm. avoid that. Otherwise, I see that, I mean, as you I mean, get July, so July minus 7, minus 4. So around April, right around the 10th of April, around that time from there onwards, it will just be, be fantastic. It's going to write up, you know. And sometimes you rise so high that you don't want to look down kind of thing, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, so, and then you mentioned about your husband's energy. So I don't know, what is his date of birth? Can you give it to me? Yeah, he's on uh, November 26, 1987. So November 26, 1987. So um, November the 26, 1987, we have, yeah, so we have uh, Jupiter and uh, Mars energy. So my, Mars kind of collides with Mercury, you know, it's aggressive, you know, and it's strong. You know, I understand that, you know, we all like to keep our families together, but, but this one's... This one's a little challenging. 1987 to now would be three is 90 plus 10 is 2000 plus in November or last year was 21. So 21, 31, and 34. So he's in his 35th year, which is challenges for him, you know? So he's mm -hmm. facing the wrath of, uh, of wrath of Saturn, you know? So he has to watch his, you know, legs, stomach, you know, as if his energy is certainly blocked. So he'll have to wait for some time till November this year before it changes for him. But the frequency changes for you way before his, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's how it's sitting. Yeah. So if you get my point, uh, yeah, very neighborhood and uh, and for your house here, I need to patch your house as well. So so to patch your house to make it more flow with you, uh, mm -hmm. I would use more maybe uh, number one sun. You can just use more sun here. Suns want to flow with you. Number one in the beginning. Because sun mirrors Uranus, so one, four, three, one, five. So use the number one in the beginning. I think that'll mm -hmm. be really good. Mm -hmm. Just so put I it, want uh, to do something else, Erica, myself. So your numerology is number five, but you have twice five plus. 43, 15 is another five. So five in, in Kabbalah, in the ancient teaching of the Pythagorean concept, is divorce, separation. Uh, and, and you live in a, in a house that has the number five, which means there's a guaranteed divorce. You're a number five, which means the possibility of divorce is there. Number five is associated with having a son, uh, issues with your father. So these are things that exist in your codification. So what Jesse is saying, put a one in front of the 4315 because it shifts the energy to the vibration of home and stability. Now, your mm -hmm. husband is not a karmic relationship and he does represent a big challenge for you. The time of both of you, Jesse is right, is now either to make peace or to go separate ways. When I say now in the next five months, seven months, now you make decisions. But if you both uh, prolong this uh, separation, it will end up in a separate. In other words, either you reconcile in the next number of months or you will go separate ways. What's interesting about you, you meant to have two sons and you have only one. So if you decide to walk away from this marriage or stay in the marriage, the possibility of another child exists very strong, though you turn 40. Don't forget, now, between 40, 42, quite even 45, you have a chance of another child. The child will actually balance your family and bring you the kind. If, though you say, Carmen, I don't want another baby or I'm done, you might say that. I am putting in the perspective. No, we were we were actually trying at the middle of the uh, mm -hmm. year, and then we start having trouble. So, so uh, in other words, mm -hmm. I'm interrupting you because I want to finish my point that is so significant for your evolution and for the future of your life. If if you're able to have this baby, then everything means reconciliation. Add the one in front of the number of the house to shift the energy of a separation you know, and work the challenges with your husband and things can turn around. But the time is now. So consequently, you didn't call the show years ago or in a year from now. You're calling it right now when you have mm -hmm. this pressing issue going on that needs a resolution in the next number of months. 
<laughs> yeah, because it's been really hard. I, I didn't, I didn't make the decision. It was on his side. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not surprised. Tough. I'm not surprised. But you born with that that chance to have. In other words, you have a predisposition towards divorce that is there in the power of the numbers. That's why Jesse wrote a book. It's all about numbers. So you you being a five, living in the energy of a house that has the energy of five, and being born on the day of 23, which is five. That five in the ancient teaching means the planet Mercury, the intellect, but it also means separation uh, and, and divorce is possible, is there, is in the numbers. Oh. So there's no mistake. Yeah. You are born with that. Even if he's Good. the one initiating it, you're the one experiencing it. Yeah. Yeah. With that, should you, Jesse, recommend me to move? From here, I was never comfortable here. Neither. Yeah, so once you patch the house with that number one, you know, what will happen is, you know, the energy will, will, will direct you to the right energy, you know. Something will happen mysteriously, you know. Something will suddenly appear, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. just, oh, it just falls in your lap, and oh, I like this place now. You know how it is? The change will definitely come, right? But once you patch the house, like I said, it will shift the energy and you will attract. Uh, but I think you're, what you said earlier, moving, I'd say absolutely yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will. I will really consider that. So, so uh, the number one on, on front that will help a yes. lot. You said if I find a new yeah. house, yeah. that'll be important. And you are moving from there. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, no. my dear. Thank, Erica, you, thank you so so, for so much. And for everybody listening to the show, thank you for listening to Live Now, the episode today that I had the chance and the honor, the opportunity to speak with Jesse Kelsey and his new book all about numbers. He's been my guest of honor. So for you guys, if you have any questions, write me to Carmen Hara or contact Jesse. If you want a session with him, go to his website, book a session, go everywhere, buy his books and learn much more about the power of your numbers. And I'm Carmen Hara with Jesse Kelsey on the show today. Thank you so much for listening. And I'll be back with you next week on Friday on KMET uh, 1.90 AM. ABC Radio. Thank you for listening.